Doing some off-season snowboard training is a great time to practice and hone your skills before you take them out onto the slope. Especially now with the build-up towards the mountain opening, it's time to get on those boards, get those limbs moving, get those legs akimbo, and get practicing so that when you get out in the mountain, you're going to be able to shred. So in this video, Kevin and I are going to make a home DIY setup for a few bucks and compare that to the legit article that you can buy online for a few hundred bucks and see which comes out on top. about duct tape is you just keep throwing tape on yeah. there maybe a tiny bit of that looks solid heel movement nice or tiny wobble getting easier it's definitely getting way easier the first like five to ten here scary and uh yeah a little bit off balance just getting used to the feel of it and then once you do that and you yeah yeah and then <laughs> that's <laughs> tiring <laughs> Well, one thing about this is because it does roll. If you're doing a 50 50 and you're pushing off, you push your rail away from you. I think it, it feels more difficult than when you do it on the snow. And so the bonus of that is that when you actually take it out there, it's going to hopefully feel more comfortable, more relaxing, and then you can focus on your trick instead of worrying about your two liter like flying off. Yeah. And you got the snow as a landing instead of just these bricks. <laughs> yeah, that homemade DIY setup is definitely a little bit more trickier for balance. You do get some movement in the bottle as you're doing tricks on there. So you definitely have to stay loose. You gotta stay over top of it and just hold everything in real tight and get ready for a ride. All right, now I'm gonna check out the uh, the premium edition. Okay, okay. Wow, look at how nice that I just put on the snowboard addiction and I don't really feel any difference in quality. Seems about the same. Well, let's get on there and give it a try. <laughs> Gets a fair amount of flex in it. So I did a few rounds on the homemade setup and that thing is pretty tough. It's hard to balance. It definitely feels a little bit sketchier and you always have a chance that the bottle is just gonna roll away underneath you and you're gonna eat it. <laughs> and getting on with the board slide really challenges your balance because if you start to lean over, then the bottle starts to move under your feet. It's not stationary like the snowboard addiction setup. So it is quite cool. More finesse, more niche, getting that balance like down really, really fine. Weird. And then after like kind of breaking in period of getting used to it, then it actually became a lot more comfortable and it was really fun. Yeah. Definitely higher risk with the two liter bottle. Had a few more falls on that than the sober addiction setup, but 
higher reward. And then the bonus, you get a nice little sodi pop at the end. So Stone Prediction is good. I mean, it's custom made for this type of stuff. Bindings are a little bit softer. You don't have to worry about shoving your feet under all the duct tape. And then you do have a couple extra features that you can do. Definitely different feel on it than the, than the two liter bottle. And in terms of tricks, I can definitely do a lot more on the Snowboard Addiction, feel more comfortable. Jumping on there, you don't have to worry about the duct tape ripping and your foot flying out. And it's nice and cushioned and yeah, it's just built for doing tricks and, and looking cool. And the other thing I noticed as well is that the skateboard deck is really rigid, whereas the Snowboard Addiction board is a little bit pliable, does have some movement in it. So yeah, take of that what you will. As I say, overall positives of the homemade setup, it's super cheap. It's actually really difficult, which I mean, you can look at it either way. But once you get used to it, then that really brings you a lot of confidence. And then you also get a nice drink at the end. And then the downsides are that the risk is a little bit higher. Had more falls on that. You do have the risk that your shoes are going to rip out of the duct tape and you have to do some patchwork. And I find that my shoe did move a little bit throughout the exercises as well. And then positive snowboard addiction board. You got nice bindings that don't move. You got some pliability in the board for doing presses. And then you have a couple of features on the rail so that you can mix those up and, and change what you're doing. On the downside, it's not cheap. And I know a lot of people don't have that amount of money to spend on an off season training board with the season being so close. So which one would I go for if I had to? Definitely the two liter pop. I like my soda. <laughs> Nothing against the Snowboard Addiction. It's a really good product, really great, but I like my soda pop and it costs a few bucks over a few hundred dollars and you get a lot of bang for your buck. If you guys are thirsty and want to do some off season training, go buy yourself a two liter, buy some duct tape, hook up a little system and get out there. All right guys, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one soon. Cool. Oh, it actually looks like I've been doing some tricks on my board. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't explode. <laughs> so far it's not exploded. Can I roll? Whoa. Oh my keep it, keep it flat. Keep it flat. Oh, <laughs> I don't think hit the rail is going to come after me.